a mystery interstellar object that was spotted by astronomers last week. It could be the oldest comet ever seen. It's the, only the third time that we've actually detected an object that has come from beyond our solar system. Right now, a fleet of the most advanced space telescopes, those incredible eyeballs of glass and silicon. We're talking Gemini North, Gemini South, the venerable Hubble, and the revolutionary James Webb have all simultaneously fixed their gaze on a single, unassuming pixel of our night sky. And that pixel? It just blinked green. But let's be clear, this wasn't the soft, ethereal, gentle teal of some distant nebula. No, this was the sharp, almost aggressive, almost angry green of a traffic light you'd probably blow right through it to in the morning, knowing full well you shouldn't. The cosmic traveler beneath that suddenly vibrant pixel is Comet 3i slash Atlas, a truly extraordinary object. It's only the third interstellar visitor humanity has ever had the privilege, or perhaps the bewilderment, of observing. And now every single telescope that can possibly point its optical sensors in its direction is officially on overtime. This video is sponsored by Upstream. Want to grow your YouTube channel faster? With Upstream, you can run a 24-7 live stream using your pre-recorded videos. Since live streams rank higher in search, you'll gain more views, more subscribers, and more revenue. And it's not just YouTube. Upstream lets you multi-stream to up to 10 platforms, design custom layouts that match your brand, and schedule your content so your channel is live even when you're not. Sign up free today with the link in the description, and if you decide to upgrade, you'll get 20% off your first month. Start streaming smarter with Upstream. NASA's alert level for 3i slash Atlas is now formally designated as elevated, which in the diplomatic, understated language of space agencies is their polite way of telling us that absolutely nobody is sleeping particularly well these days. So the burning questions that are rippling through the scientific community are profound. Why would a comet, a literal ice ball from another star system, suddenly decide it wants to put on a show, morphing into something that frankly looks more like a bizarre Halloween decoration than a routine celestial body? If this dramatic color shift is only a matter of chemistry, which is the textbook explanation for these things, then why are the very same project managers the ones who basically shrugged and went back to their coffee when 2i slash Borisov zipped by, now holding urgent, unscheduled midnight meetings. And here's the truly thrilling yet alarming thought. If it's not merely chemistry, if there's something more exotic at play, then what exactly is riding that strangely colored ice ball as it hurtles toward us? At first blush, on July 8, 2025, the Atlas survey in Chile picked up what seemed like just another faint blur. It was a 19th magnitude spec, precisely the kind of routine observation you'd expect from their bread-and-butter patrol for potential killer asteroids. Nothing immediately screamed major news. But within a mere 12 hours, critical follow-up observations were made. These measurements revealed an inbound hyperbolic arc that wasn't just unusual, it practically screamed interstellar in the same way a beat-up rental car screams, I have no idea where the brake pedal is. The numbers were undeniable a speed consistently above 50 kilometers every single second, an inclination 40 degrees off the relatively tidy, predictable plane of our solar system's planets. Let me tell you, nothing native to our solar system moves like that. It was an immediate red flag. The Minor Planet Center wasted no time officially handing it the label 3i slash Atlas, the 3 signifying it as only the third confirmed outsider we've ever tracked, and the I, of course, for interstellar. Telegrams, or rather urgent emails and secure messages, began flying across the globe. NASA's renowned scout system, designed to assess impact risks, quickly rated the object's impact odds at a reassuring zero. Yet, and this is where it gets interesting, it simultaneously flagged 3i slash Atlas for unusual activity potential. Now, in plain English, the translation of that particular flag is, we have absolutely no clue what this thing will do next, but we are pretty darn sure it's going to be incredibly interesting. So, for its first month under our scrutiny, 3i slash Atlas seemed to behave much like any other comet, albeit an interstellar one. 
Its coma remained a textbook chalk white, it sported a routine tail, and its gas jets were entirely predictable. All the while, ground telescopes and Mars orbiters added imagery, photometry, and compositional hints. Then, the anomaly appeared. Suddenly, between August 14th and 15th, something profound shifted. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its incredible near-infrared imager, recorded a staggering doubling of 517 nanometer flux. In plain English, and this is the part that truly captured everyone's attention, the comet got greener than AstroTurf. No, scratch that. It got greener than a fresh, newly painted emerald. The very same night, Gemini North's spectrum showed incredibly sharp diatomic carbon spikes, so pronounced, in fact, that the automated data pipeline initially flagged them as a possible detector artifact. But here's the thing. Eight hours later, Gemini South repeated the exact same measurement. And guess what? Same spike. The venerable Hubble then, using its ultraviolet channel, independently confirmed the shift, catching cyanogen fluorescing with an intensity that you'd expect from a cheap nightclub poster. Four of the most powerful telescopes on Earth and in space across two continents linked by three independent data streams all delivered one undeniable coherent result. The comet had fundamentally changed, and it didn't happen gradually, it happened overnight. So, let's talk about what green usually means in the context of comets. Diatomic carbon, which is simply two carbon atoms bonded together, naturally glows a vibrant emerald when it gets smacked by sunlight. This is a perfectly routine phenomenon we observe in comets native to our own solar system, especially those that swing close to the sun, getting a good bake. But here's where the mystery and the concern truly lies. The timing. 3i slash Atlas is currently still well outside Mars's orbit. At that vast distance, its surface temperatures are a truly balmy minus 200 degrees Celsius. That's cold enough to make most comets act like they're in a deep cryogenic slumber. Typically, carbon only wakes up and starts glowing when deeper, more volatile ices, like water or carbon monoxide, begin furiously sublimating, essentially ripping the comet's crust apart. Yet, the critical observation is that water lines in 3i slash Atlas's spectrum remain surprisingly weak. This presents a fascinating paradox. So, what are the possible mechanisms? Either this comet carries far more exotic ices, volatile compounds we've never really seen before in such abundance, or something incredibly unusual is actively exposing fresh pockets of carbon on demand, almost as if on cue. And let me tell you, both of these options are making chemists across the globe extremely nervous. Now, while the dramatic green color understandably grabbed all the headlines and really rippled through the scientific community, another truly remarkable number silently slid through the scientific papers and internal reports. 3i slash Atlas is experiencing a water loss equivalent to an astonishing 300 kilograms per second. To put that in perspective, one ESA press officer aptly described it as a fire hose running full blast, and honestly, that might even be an understatement. For a sense of scale, the legendary comet Hale-Bob, at its absolute peak, managed an incredible 5,000 kilograms per second. But here's the crucial difference. Hale-Bop was an absolute monster, and it was inside Mercury's orbit baking under intense solar radiation. 3i slash Atlas, by contrast, is significantly smaller, it's much colder, and it's still well outside Mars's orbit. Yet, despite these conditions, it's still outgassing water at a rate that outpaces most of our solar system's local comets. This combination of high water loss, coupled with surprisingly low water signal in its spectrum, presents a fascinating paradox. So, what are the possible mechanisms? The leading scientific explanation, the fix that many are leaning towards, is that the nucleus isn't alone. Instead, it's dragging along a substantial halo of icy grains. Think of each of these grains as a miniature comet, all of them sublimating and evaporating together. That halo would effectively enlarge the apparent source of the outgassing, significantly boosting the total output of material, and yet, crucially, it would keep the individual spectral water lines modest and harder to detect directly.
What's more, this also implies that the effective surface area for all this chemical weirdness, including the sudden dramatic bloom of green, is far, far larger than the nucleus itself, providing a compelling explanation for the sudden, vibrant color shift. So let's address why NASA, a typically measured and cautious agency, is officially on alert. They operate with a very clear, almost traffic light style scale for tracking celestial anomalies. Green, as you might guess, means boring or routine. Yellow means monitor daily, keep a close eye on it. And red? Red is when you retask critical assets. You wake people up in the middle of the night and you prepare for a full blown response. Right now, 3i slash Atlas is firmly in the yellow category, but with a very significant, almost alarming footnote. If its brightness or its outgassing activity jumps by another 50%, it automatically, no questions asked, bumps itself straight into the red alert level. And let me tell you, red costs serious money. We're talking about burning precious fuel for spacecraft roles. It means telescope directors yelling into their phones trying to reprioritize observation schedules. And perhaps worst of all, for their PR teams, it means facing relentless press scrums, with reporters inevitably asking if this comet is in fact an alien ship. Nobody in the scientific community wants to cry wolf, to needlessly escalate a situation. Yet, Absolutely nobody wants to miss the first truly significant, truly actionable interstellar science target we've had since 2i Borisov zipped by, practically a ghost before the James Webb Space Telescope was even fully launched. So alert it is. It's a careful balance between prudence and the immense scientific opportunity this object presents. Okay. Let's just get this out of the way right now, because the question is always lurking in the back of everyone's mind. Zero, and I mean zero evidence currently supports the idea of little green pilots cruising around inside this big green comet. We've detected no artificial radio tones, there have been no inexplicable course corrections, and absolutely no shiny metallic spectra that would suggest engineered construction. Even Harvard's Avi Loeb, who is arguably the most vocal champion of the look for technological rigging school of thought, recently tweeted that 3i slash Atlas is unequivocally a natural laboratory, not a garage. Still, the timing of all this is, well, uncanny. We have an unprecedented window, four weeks of high quality observational data available before perihelion, before its closest approach to the sun. This is a front row seat, a scientific feast that we absolutely did not get with one eye Oumuamua, which was already on its way out of our solar system when we finally noticed it. So while we lean towards natural explanations, the thought does persist. If, hypothetically, an advanced alien probe did want to pass under the radar, wrapping itself in a thick layer of comet ice wouldn't be the worst camouflage strategy, would it? But here's the crucial point, the bedrock of scientific inquiry. Science must rigorously rule out every single ordinary explanation before the extraordinary can even begin to earn the floor. And ruling out the ordinary, especially with an object this dynamic, takes observations. Lots and lots of them. Hence, the elevated alert level. So what happens next? The critical date is October 9th. That's when 3i slash Atlas will skim closest to our sun, passing just inside Mercury's orbit before it inevitably slingshots back out into the vast, cold blackness of interstellar space. Fortunately, the European Space Agency's JUICE mission, currently en route to Jupiter, will be in precisely the right place at the right time to capture distant, side-on images. These aren't just pretty pictures. They're vital for calibration and providing a unique perspective. Meantime, here on Earth, every single planetary radar dish is being polished, calibrated, and pointed. The scientific community is holding its collective breath, watching intently. If the nucleus of 3i slash Atlas were to fragment or split, its brightness would dramatically spike, giving us a clear signal. If its powerful jets were to suddenly reorient themselves, its spin period would visibly wobble, revealing internal changes. Mm. 
and if its chemistry flips yet again, perhaps deepening that unsettling green, we will know about it within hours, because, let's be honest, Twitter will absolutely detonate, and astronomers worldwide will suddenly remember how to answer their long-ignored phones. The data pipeline from every observatory is wide open, the complex modeling codes are queued up and ready to run, and I can tell you, fresh coffee is brewing in every single control room from Tucson to Tenerife as we speak. Look, space stories, especially ones involving interstellar visitors behaving strangely, move incredibly fast. If you want to be right there the moment the alert level for 3i slash Atlas changes, or even more thrillingly, the moment we finally figure out why this comet turned the color of comic book kryptonite, then you absolutely need to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and yes, ring that notification bell. That way the algorithm will let you through our digital airlock doors quicker than 3i slash Atlas itself is hurtling through our solar system. So there you have it. Four incredibly powerful telescopes, one enigmatic, vibrant green interloper from beyond our solar system, and an entire planet full of dedicated scientists who are absolutely refusing to blink. We truly do not yet know the full story. Is 3i slash Atlas just a remarkably fragile ice ball shedding its carbon in an unexpected way? Or could it just possibly be something more profound? a calling card from a chemistry set that's literally older than Earth itself. What we do know, what makes this moment so historically significant, is that for the very first time in human history, humanity is watching an outsider, an interstellar visitor, arrive with all the scientific tools and observational capabilities already precisely in place to read its every flicker, to analyze its every nuance, if that bizarre green color deepens further, we will meticulously chart it. If it fragments into a thousand pieces, we will be there, counting every single one. And if, against all the astronomical odds, it does something truly anomalous, something that no gravity-bound comet should ever do, then we, this generation, will be the very first to see it happen live. So, keep your eyes fixed on the sky. Keep your feeds constantly refreshed, because with an object this dynamic and this unpredictable, the next crucial update may very well come at the speed of light.